So we start off by learning that uh, ray dr is a bisector of some angle called SDE. So we start off with a nice obtuse angle because it's not, you know it's not a straight angle. So don't draw a straight angle. S, D, E, and E. And dr is the bisector of this angle. So r is out here. We know that this half is congruent to that half. Okay, next we read that some ray DA bisects that angle that we just made. So here is SDR. So here is the ray and that bisects this angle. So we use two arcs here. Okay, continuing reading. We read that DC now bisects that angle that we just made, SDA. So we have another ray coming out here where this smaller angle now is congruent to that smaller angle. Okay, so it looks like that's all the drawing that we have to do. So now we have some algebraic things to put in here. Um, S to D to C is said to be X minus 1. And the whole entire angle, S to D to E, is 9X minus 12. Nine x minus twelve degrees. So if I were to take each one of these four angles and add them up, that would have to equal nine x minus twelve. So let's go ahead and do that and see where that puts us. So if s to d to c is x minus one, that means this other angle is also x minus one. Sorry, it's close to the c. And if these two angles are x minus 1 together each, that means my next angle has to be 2x minus 2. And then these ones put together <clears throat> give me this next angle out here, which would be 4x minus 4. So now that I have an algebraic expression for all of my angles... I can make a nice algebraic equation. x plus 1, or rather x minus 1, 2x minus 2, and 4x minus 4. Adding all those four angles together <clears throat> should give me the same as if I had 9 times that number minus 12. Okay, combining like terms, 1x, 2x, 4x, 8x's minus 1, minus 2, minus 4, minus 8. Uh, let's bring the smaller value to the larger value, so that gives me 1x left, and then I'll add the 12, and I find the value of x to be 4. <clears throat> okay, so adding all those angles and solving that equation means x equals 4. <clears throat> So I am asked to find the measure of angle CDR, which is C to D to R, this angle right here. So if I simply replace X, I get, well, let's see what I get. <clears throat> I get this as 3 degrees, and I get this as 6 degrees. So the measure of angle C to D to R is going to be a whopping 9 degrees. <clears throat>